Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got the queue, which isn't good. And I've no way of getting rid of it. And overall, I think this is a rack to change. So certainly get rid of the Q and the two O's. The B, not massively bingo-y, but it does help the vowel consonant balance. And it's a scoring tile, so I'm going to keep it. Not, not great, but certainly not a changing rack. I've got a good scoring tile in the J. So I should be able to play through this and hopefully score quite well. Now. Wow, great start for my opponent. Just looking at my control panel here, something's not quite... Right, but I'm going to carry on. So I've got Fanjet in column six, which is quite nice. I can play Jab in row I. Twenty nine for Jab. I prefer getting rid of the F. So Fanjet. For 32. Just pausing in case I've missed something massive. And maybe I have. What about Jab running across the top of Fatigue? Thirty-three points. I think that's probably better. Retaining the the F isn't good, but the retaining the E is. And this doesn't provide as much for my opponent as Fanjet did. Okay, so let me go with this. Well, some more scoring tiles. I've got WAC on my rack, so I could play WACs and Fatigues. Now, if I had the S last turn, then I could have considered the score for plays which pluralized fatigue. I didn't do that. Now, I don't have an O for going in on top of BI. Otherwise, row F would have been quite hot with all of my scoring tiles going in front of at. Jar takes nothing in front. So what have I got apart from wax in column 11? So I was thinking of playing wax in column 11. Let me see what this scores. So that's 40 points, which is quite good and gets rid of all the junk and retains the E. I don't think there was a, a bingo on offer there. And nothing new. Well, nearly nothing new. Hat does take a K in front. So I have got Wax burning the S. Or I've got Orc and the Cat for 31. But keeping the F. Obi doesn't take anything in front. 16 minutes on my clock. I think I'm going to go with this. Great, look at that. That's fantastic. That's a pretty bingo-y looking rack. I've drawn the second blank. And it's a fairly balanced rack. The board not massively open. However, surely there's a bingo here. I've got mergens in column 9 through the U of fatigues. What else have I got? Frogmen 
keeping the blank. Forge man and forge men in column four. That's better. Merchants doesn't get doubled. Forge man does. What about something down from the G? Can't see anything immediately. I've got the ING ending if I use the blank as an I. That doesn't help me in column eight. What about row D? Through the W. Well, that's gone. Very takes an E in front, so reg B is available. So I've got frogmen. That doesn't quite get doubled. Very takes just the E, not the O in front. Column 13, not useful because my play doesn't get doubled. Although if it began next to WE, it would probably score more than a play which did. Is that worth considering? I don't think so. Now, if I play in row B, I'll be opening access to row A. I think I've spent some time on this game, which I'd like to make up. So I'm going to play Forge Man for 78. Great. I draw the Z and vowels to go with it. I don't think there's bingo here, although I'm going to be pretty close. I've got the Zoa ending. Now my Z can go next to the O of Forge Man for Zar, Zo and R. And I've also got Zoa in the same spot, leaving Kate, which is a pretty good four-letter set. Close to Ecto Zoa. I'm just looking at the floating consonants on the board. Wow, nice. Play by my opponent, 42 points, burning the queue. My Zoa spot is still available. Now, do I have a play in row B getting the Z tripled? Gosh, close. Z O E A, and then it stops. Is there an alternative play? Z-O-E, Z-E-A, Z-A-E, nothing good there. So I think Zoa is my play for 48 points. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. Must be close to a bingo. There could be a seven here. I haven't immediately seen one so what about the floaters well i've got the m of forge man to think about can't see anything with that what else is there well there's just a ton of vowels e a u e there's the g but i can't see anything through that Now I've got an A for going in front of Azo and my C can go in front of Core. And my T can go in front of Ag. So I could play Actor in column two for quite a lot. That would that would be quite nice. Azo does take an L in front, four L's to come. Great opponent not blocked it. And he's provided some new floaters. So is there a bingo here? If there is, it'll be Pretty high prob probability. What about the T? I've got the anti prefix. I've got an anti acne. Yes, fantastic. Let me just have a look at the time. I'm mindful of it. 13 minutes left, 45 tiles left. I'm not in any time trouble whatsoever. I don't know why I thought I was. So, anti acne for 70. Is it worth spending any time looking for a better bingo? No, it isn't. And wow, fantastic. I've got N crust, which plays in column 13, making K, Y, E. 
Do I have a second bingo? And does Encrust have an anagram? I'm just looking at the A of Antiacne for Recusant and Centaurs, neither of which goes. And the A of Forge Man also doesn't work. It, I think there are other anagrams, though, of the two I've mentioned. Centaurs, Recusant. What else? Well, I don't need to to trouble myself because Encrust stays available. But before I, I leap in and play it, is there a better play? Because Encrust does not get doubled and it stops one square short of a double word square with two S's to come. Possibly centrums through the M, nothing else. The T. Well, can't see anything. What about the U? Again, can't see anything. I can't think of any anagrams of encrust. But is there one? Now, what about the, what about G, U, and E? Can't see anything with the E, or the U, or the G. Now, I'm not sure exactly how long I can continuously record for on this uh, particular camera that I'm using at the moment, so I'm sort of glancing up occasionally to make sure it's still recording. I may have to um, record this in two chunks. If I'm making any furtive looks at the camera, that that that's why. So Encrust 71. I'm sure there's an anagram of this. Or maybe it's an anagram of Encrust. Twelve minutes left. I'm going with this. And another fantastic pickup. Um it may not be a bingo here, but it's a balanced rack, and I've got the X for score. There's no obviously fabulous place for the X, but I note immediately I can play X and Yeg for probably about 40 or 50 points, which is pretty good. I'm only 90 points in the lead, despite my, my run of bingos. My opponent got off to a good start with fatigue, so I guess I've just um, overhauled him as opposed to disappearing into the distance. And there's still 28 tiles to come, and they look pretty bingo -y. And it's an open board. So it's very much game on. Only 31 for my opponent. He hasn't taken my X spot, which is good. I'm wondering if there are any extensions to Quina. Quina monoculture, perhaps. I'll keep an eye open for that one. So where can my X go? Just looking around, can't see anywhere. This isn't going to leave me with a great rack leaf. However, what is better is this mix for 55. Yep, that works. Yay guy, is that good? Yes, surely. If this stays on, I've got a pretty rubbishy rack, but my lead is now 110 points, 21 tiles in the bag, no scoring tiles, and I've got duplicates. So for the first time, I'm hitting some, some heavy weather in this game. But the board's quite open. So I'm I hope optimistic of finding something. Well, I'm sure I'll find something. Right, my recording definitely has stopped, so I'm going to switch it on again. Okay, my recording stopped, so I've switched it on again. That I think that lasted about 16 or 17 minutes, so I guess it may switch off again. We will see. I've, I've got 11 minutes left. My opponent's got 
great. Only 21 points, and he's burnt four tiles. That's good, and he's burnt bingo -y tiles. So what can I do with this? X takes an O at the end. I've got no scoring tiles, so I'm looking at the scoring tiles on the board. Quiner takes an L at the end. I can't see any O something something L words. And Quiner may not take an L. I don't feel great about that. Maybe I should be shutting off the encrusts, plural, given that there are two S's out there. And my lead is only 90 points. And S and T are both useful floaters, so why don't I play in column 12? I've got Geo, which would be good if Ot was good. And it's not. So, nine minutes left. I could make a play onto the S. I'd quite like to burn off a lot of tiles, so I could play gollies. Which is quite nice. It's 16 points, which isn't great. It burns a lot of tiles. Almost a third of the tiles that are left in the bag. It does leave open en encrusts, but I think I can survive one bingo from my opponent. Possibly not. If he draws well. So should I be taking out that bingo lane? That bingo lane is certainly the best one. But how do I take it out? I don't have an S myself. What about eight minutes on my clock? What about a play well, I was thinking about a play down column 14 because UG is good, but UG takes an S, so that's a pretty dumb idea. I haven't got anything good in column 12. The best I've got is GIE. Keeping Lilo. However, I'm so worried about this S ending. And I think I'll go with this. Brackley is so much worse than Gollies. Actually, I'm a bit of a sucker for a good Rackley. Or I'm averse to a bad one, so I'm going with Gollies. It'll expedite the end of the game more than the, the Gi play would. And I don't draw either of the S's, which is worrying. My opponent could slam down a bingo now. I'm 110 points in the lead. If he does bingo, there'll be four tiles in the bag. Now I do have scoring tiles, so I've got DOH, Odor, and Hin. 28 points. I think my opponent would be fortunate to have two back-to-back -back bingos, but it could happen. Because row M is available, and so is row A. Golly's not looking quite so so good when you look at the, the tiles I've drawn. I've basically drawn the dross from the bag. What my opponent's got is pretty good. Fantastic. My opponent does not bingo. Superb. It'd be very interesting to see what rack he, he had when he made that play. So I think the heat is off. I'm well, I'm only 70 points in the lead. And I've got a ropey rack, six tiles in the bag. I mentioned Doe. Which doesn't deal with the V. Is there something better across the top here? My V can go in front of the IN or ED. The O's got to go in front of DA.
vor is the best I can do with the V. And that has the merit of not taking anything in front of it. Six minutes on my clock. My opponent's blocked a play in column eight. Maybe that's partly why he played diets. Six minutes left. doesn't take anything after it that I've got. What about a play in row E? Nothing great there. So if I play Do, 28 points, I like the score. The rack leaves okay apart from the V. Yeah, I'm going with this. Not good at all. A lot of vowels left, and I've dodged the lot. But I'm a hundred and... No, I'm not. I'm 90 points in the lead. 90, 98. Which should still be enough. But this rack is quite inflexible. In that, I don't, in, the, in that I don't have a lot of options with that. Three tiles in the bag, so this could be the last rack I see. All those eased for going in front of Very. How annoying that I don't have any of them. One tile left. That's quite nice because I think I do have to block this and I can block it with Wived. Or I could play driver, 12 points. And I think I prefer driver because it increases my chances of going out. I think I'm in reasonable shape with most of the things I pick up. Certainly any of the vowels are good. And, well, maybe not, maybe not with the consonants, but I'm going with this. I don't I do not draw a vowel. I've got the B. So B S W. Quite a few floating vowels to consider. But the U the most open. Just looking at my opponent's rack, he's, has he got elongate? Well he does, but through the T. But Doe has blocked that. I think. Yep, great. So I don't think he does have a bingo. 11 minutes on his clock, 5 on mine. BSW. So swab through an O, wabs through an A. What about through IE? Can't see anything. Yep, there goes that nice E spot. Every takes an R in front and an S. Doesn't help me. My opponent's got OE, so he can play toe or something else. Well, toe in two spots. Four minutes on my clock. Is there an out in one? I'm leading by 70, so this game is one. Uh, however, it's nice to spot an out if there is one available. B and W don't go well together. Okay, I can't see a place to go out. So where can I score the most? I could play Wuz or Wuss, Wuss. 13. Three minutes on my clock. I guess I need to look around at the vowels. Well, I'm sort of just going to range down the board. 
seeing if anything fabulous comes to mind. There's Wuss again. 11. Pretty ropey. I've got Bow, which I think is better, for 12. Still three minutes on my clock. Okay, so I'm going with Bow for 12. Is there nothing a lot better than that? I've just noticed that if I could just play you something S, I'd score a lot more, but I don't have a play there. But I do have the S. Two minutes on my clock. Is there anywhere... Anywhere better that I've missed. Zoa takes nothing after it. Okay, I'm going with this. Just the S left on my rack. And now I'm waiting for my opponent to formally end the game. Which I think is a good opportunity to just stop this recording and start it again to stop it cutting off in the middle of the post game analysis. And I'm back. My opponent has still not formally ended the game. Ended the, well, and quite rightly too, he had tiles on his rack. Okay, and I've given him 13 points and it's, it's, it's me who's got to formally end the game. So, pass to end the game. And the final score, 402 to my opponent, 463 to me. A winning margin of 61 points, so a good victory. Let's see what I missed. I was about to say well done to my opponent, which is which I say when he wins, and he hasn't won, so... Maybe I should think of something else to say to my opponent. Okay, so this was my rack, and I don't like boo. It's only 10 points. It retains the queue. I'd have to analyze that to be sure. But I think A, E, and S are such nice tiles that it's good to jettison the queue, and 10 isn't, isn't that many. So, wow, this was my opponent's rack. He had fatigue in lots of different places. And... Wow, look at that, Bethana's E5, double-double. Didn't see that. Fanjet's what I thought about. What I went with was Jab for 33. Yeah, that's... That's... All these top moves are much of a muchness. Opponent plays Hop. And now I have Wax for 40. And a, f a few other options which retain the S, but they also retain the W and the F with it, which isn't, isn't so good. So I think Wax, the extra seven points plus jettisoning the non bingo -y tiles, makes the play better. Opponent plays the very. Now there was a G play, it was Genogram. I didn't see that. Mergen. B8. Oh, well, Mergen does stretch to the double. Okay, I missed that. But not to worry, because I think Mergen at B8, placing the M underneath his triple word square, is more dangerous than Forgeman, just placing the N in this row. So I think the, the five-point sacrifice is probably justified. Wow, look at this rack for my opponent. He's got... To a D, he's got Daikiri, and there are no Ds on the board. Fantastic. Let's see what the best he had was. Okay, 52 somewhere through the M. Now, this was my rack. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, three. Ah, look at that. Zo A, E, A, all the way down the side of Forge Man for 84 points. What a miss. That's painful. That is painful. Okay, so I played Zoa for 48. 
which I thought was good, and it was, but it was a long way behind the best move. Now this is my this is my opponent's rack. Does he have a bingo? No. He plays turnip. And now anti acne was the only bingo, so delighted to have spotted that. I, th I think I've missed that in the past. Opponent's rack looks pretty good. Ponytail through the T. Wow. Not sure if I'd have seen that. He plays any. And Encrust was the only bingo. Opponent's rack, no bingo. My rack, and I play mix for 55. That looks good. Opponent's rack. What does he do? Well, he doesn't have a bingo, and he plays diet. And now I'm... 90 points in the lead. There are still 17 tiles in the bag and some bingo lanes open, so I'm not home and dry, and this is this is a problematic rack. No scoring tiles and duplicates. So I played gollies for 16. Goalie N2. Okay, I don't like that. That's opening up the triple square, the triple word square lane. So I play gollies. And I don't know if that's best or not. but uh, And for the main reason being that it didn't block row M. Opponent doesn't have a bingo, even though the, he's got this fantastic rack. So he's got Isleted. So he does have a bingo on his rack. He just doesn't have anywhere to play it. So pretty agonizing for him. I think diet is probably wrong. I think you're, you're wrecking a good rack there, and you've still got two two bingo lanes. So I think... I think I would have played off one or two tiles somewhere, possibly from the Sea of Crust to open up a new bingo lane. Now, this was my rack, and I played Doe for 28. Yeah, nothing obviously better there. Opponent's rack has now deteriorated, having having played Diets, and he's 90 points behind, so his, his goose is cooked. He plays C, and... I block that. The remaining tiles look like they there could be a bingo there, and I wasn't just blocking it. Uh, I don't I don't have many vowels on my rack, and driver enabled me to play off. Now I I retained the S. Maybe I should have played drivers in this spot and left myself with just the W. And then when I draw, for example, the B, I've got bow. Quite a few floating vowels on the board, so I think it was a mistake. Just playing driver, I think I should have played the S on the end of that. Opponent's rack, he doesn't have a bingo, he plays glean. And then if I'd have had BW, well, there would have been bow and it would have been the end of the game. Instead, I play bow and I'm stuck with the S, so my opponent gets to have another turn. So that was the end of that, a pretty exciting game. My opponent got off to a bingo. And then I, I had several bingers of my own to come back and get into the lead, but it wasn't a big enough lead to be sure of the game, and there were bingo tiles in the bag. So I needed a little bit of fortune in that when my opponent had the isleted rack, it didn't go, but that, that worked out. He wasn't able to, to, to play a bingo, and I was able to see the game through. So pretty exciting stuff. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I will see you next time.